Hey guys, welcome back. Got kind of a weird oddball video today. This is about a cop watcher in uh, Sarasota Springs, I think it is. Uh, Joey Rapico, or Adam Rapico, uh, who got pepper sprayed for flipping off a cop. This was about eight or nine years ago. And he won, ended up winning a $50,000 lawsuit. The cop quit, which is fine because he d actually did wrong. <clears throat> Nobody likes bad cops. But the story is after that from somebody on TikTok that he and his girlfriend went to Mexico and were unalived in Mexico trying to make it look like uh, the cops got revenge on them, which is total nonsense. But anyway, check out what I'm talking about here. Thank you, Tori. Today we learned self-proclaimed cop watcher Adam Rupika received $50,000 to settle his case against the Saratoga Springs Police Department. Rupika was pepper sprayed and charged with resisting arrest back in May after giving Officer Nathan Baker the middle finger. The exchange was all caught on video. Rupika filed the lawsuit after the charges against him were dropped and Officer Baker resigned from the police force. The settlement was announced last week, but the city wouldn't say how much Rupika was being paid out. CBS 6 filed a Freedom of Information Law request in order to get that information for you. The city responded today. Okay, so we got Joey Rapico. He got 50 grand. Uh, the cop obviously did wrong. I've seen the actual video of it. And he did pepper spray him. Uh, the guy wasn't resisting or anything like that. Uh, he won the 50 grand. The cop uh, resigned. All good and done. But the rumor is, according to JC News Now, he found something on TikTok about it. And I'm going to show you what he posted. Uh, but first, I'm going to apologize. I keep calling this guy Joey Rapico. His name is Adam Rapico. So if I say Joey, I mean Adam. I don't know. I got the name Joey stuck in my head. Anyway, let's go. Quently, Officer Baker opted to resign from the department, effectively terminating his tenure as a member of the police force. Nearly a year after his dealings with Officer Baker, Adam Rupika and his girlfriend were found dead in Tijuana, Mexico. It was ruled a double s- I apologize, I keep calling this guy uh, Joey. His name is Adam Rupico. Anyway, now I'm going to show you a, vi a video of Adam explaining to the reporter what happened to him. You will definitely uh, recognize some of the language that he uses. This time, it was making an obscene gesture toward that officer. He says he's doing it to make sure that police know the public's constitutional rights. Are you going to uh, what are you pulling me over for? I'll be glad to tell you to give me your information. Adam Rapika says he's the man behind the wheel and that he shot this video. He told me it all started when he gave an obscene gesture to a Saratoga Springs police officer in an effort to see how he would react. I see him coming in the opposite direction. Um, I did give him the finger. I admit that that's not a polite, nice thing to do, but it is protected uh, for a First Amendment right of freedom of speech. In the video, you can hear the officer ask for Rapika's information and hear Rapika ask why he was pulled over. I'm going to assume from what I've heard so far that Adam was a cop, not only a cop watcher, but a First Amendment auditor because all the rhetoric is the same. It's the same today as it was back then eight, eight years ago. This is what you see next. Step out of the vehicle. What crime have I committed? Step out of the vehicle. This is being recorded. I, I saw your camera. Step out of the vehicle. <laughs> Step out of the vehicle. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Step out. That's not a charge for... And right there, after refusing to get out of the vehicle, more or less, he didn't get out of the vehicle when he was told to a couple of times, so that's when he got pepper sprayed. So it's a toss-up whether that's right or wrong. He probably shouldn't have pepper spray sprayed him, uh, but hey, I'm not, uh, I'm not the judge and jury on this case. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Rapika says that was the sound of pepper spray, and he feels it was uncalled for. So that hurts. It's, it's not right. Tonight, the Saratoga Springs police chief released a statement saying he's aware of this video that's been posted online. He says Rapika was charged with having an obstructed view and resisting arrest and that pepper spray was deployed. He said, quote, I take very seriously any allegation of improper use of force, 
made against any officer of the Saratoga Springs Police Department. He says he's been in contact with Rupika and that the officer involved has been placed on administrative leave as an internal investigation is underway. Rupika told me this is not the first video that he's made, that he's trying to bring about peaceful change. There are positive uh, police officers out there. So this was eight years ago. I have yet to see any positive change. What I see is people losing more and more rights because of this kind of behavior that these people do. Uh, I'm not reflecting about his apparent uh, going to Mexico and all that happening down there. That's a, that's a horrible thing. But this is just an old video to show you they're doing exactly the same thing today that they were doing then and even before that. It's, it's just nonsense. It's a way to make some videos, uh, let your insecurities override your uh, thought process and go out there and do stupid things. And he probably uh, got that 50k as a uh, hush money just to go away, just get out of here, stop bothering us. Sarasota's a huge city. They can uh, That's nothing to them. Give him a little hush money, he goes away and God knows uh, what, what happened after that. And this is just a way to get to the ones that are going to violate somebody's rights. What do you say to people who say you're going around and instigating officers? I, I get that question a lot um, in the comments section of every video. Um, people say that I'm baiting them. Um, and I say it's no different than what they do to us. They go around doing the exact same things that uh, uh, baiting the people f to find the bad ones. That's odd. I've been around for close to 70 years now, and I've been back in my youth. I got arrested all the time. I have never had a cop come up and bait me uh, to do a crime, ever. It's never happened. I've never been baited to say anything or do anything, and I've been stopped all over the place. I mean, come on. What a joke. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry uh, all the bad stuff happened to uh, this guy and his girlfriend. Uh, I suspect it was probably an OD or something like that, or they just... Uh, found out that all that money didn't really make him feel any better. I don't know. I don't know. But if anybody knows more about this Adam Rapico guy and his girlfriend, uh, let me know. I'm just curious uh, what their actual story is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye.